Hello, the internet. Um, so sometimes when I play live, which hasn't happened for many years now, but when I used to do it, I'd usually get people asking me about the stuff that I'm using about the gear because we're all gear nerds really and we like to talk about it. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work on my live rig recently. I've changed it a lot because I spend more time playing around with the gear than actually writing any music. Um, so I thought maybe I would give you a little show around of what I have and what I do and how it works um, because um, yeah I think it's kind of interesting to some people probably so yeah if you're into that enjoy this. So starting on the string end of things we've got the Fender Jaguar uh, in Burgundy Mist from Japan it's a very lovely little piece of wood um, it's got all the switchy buttony things that I like even though I've never actually used them. Um, that's the main weapon that's my main axe that I use um, and then we've got the base six uh, the acoustic just for you know as and when um, this one I call the bastard um, I think it's made by K from the 80s or 70s or something I don't know it's kind of a piece of crap but I kind of love it as well sometimes it's loud as hell uh, but yeah mostly use the, the Jaguar which then goes into the pedal board which, to be totally honest with you, I'm not really using particularly at the moment, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but essentially this is just, you know, the gear, which isn't really in use. I need to take it apart, but I spent ages cutting out these custom patch cables to fit into my homemade pedal board, I'll have you know. Um, but yeah, you know, I've still got the Digitech Whammy and the, the Hog, and that's a preamp, which I'll probably take out and put together with the pedal loop pedal and the delay for like a smaller rig when I want to do little intimate gigs. Uh, that all goes into the Focusrite audio interface and then that all goes into Ableton. Uh, so I don't really use the loop pedal anymore because I was just finding it was a bit too limiting in what I wanted to do. So instead I've set up this Ableton file um, you probably can't see too much from here but basically I used a lot of automation so you've got let's take this drum track for example I've got all my different drum pads all set up here you know ready to go I've not plugged this in but you know it works um, that all goes into the bug standard Ableton looper which is then automated across the tracks so we've got you know this is the moon and the sea and then I can flick across to all the hits, all your favourite songs are all in there um, and that's basically ready to go so I just hit play and it will automatically switch on the looper and then it will switch it over to playback or stop or overdub or whatever um, and then the reason I don't really use the pedals is because I've got within there set up every guitar tone that I would need so I've got clean and crunchy and heavy and you know every tone, all of the to all the guitar tones are in there that's all of them they're all in there um and again it just automatically switches between which ones are playing so each each track has um, a vst guitar rig 5 set up so you've got like your clean tone here um you know if you're one of those purists who thinks that you need a big valve amp and whatever else shut up because you're wrong basically um just use vsts they fit on a laptop much easier um, and then they've got like a noise gate to switch that track off or on whenever it's you know switching tone. So instead of having to be down here doing all the tap dancing and all jumping on everything, it's just ready to go. I just hit play, play the song, and you know the loop in does itself. The changes in tone do themselves. I'm still going to have to use you know little things that you can't really do, but otherwise, yeah, it, it's all ready to go. And then we've got a load of vocal tracks as well so the mic is also hooked up and each track has its own separate looper so you know they've all got complete control over themselves the only thing that's pre-recorded i guess you could say is um the chords for the vocoder so i can get some harmonies um but yeah otherwise everything that you hear when i play is completely done live and there's no kind of backing track or anything 
Um, all of that then goes out to two separate tracks. So I've got one output that goes to my monitors so that I've got a click because you can't work with automation without a click. Obviously, you need to be in time with this. And then another out that can go to the desk so everyone else can listen to it. Um, and that's your lot, basically. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, hopefully someone found that interesting. Um, if anyone wants to know more about doing automated looping in Ableton, I'd be happy to give you a bit more info on that if anyone cares. Um, otherwise, I'll do a little demo now so you can see how it all works and what it sounds like when I put it all together. Um, yeah, enjoy.